But it's always rough uh, looking back on what you've done and say exactly that you know, you know, things change, and, you know. But uh, I'd like to say that the, the vibe that we had about or the feeling we had for the album, actually making the album, carries over uh, today as well. So we're feeling really good about it. It's a more organic album. It's something that we really wanted to do. We wanted to put even more emphasis on that weird kind of groove that we got going and, you know, try to make... Um, a more more atmospheric and a little bit more um, I don't know diverse album in, in the atmospheric perspective. So I think we um, we're happy with that. We've always been pretty slow between albums. Uh, first and foremost, because of the fact that we don't write on the road, we don't work that way, and we never have. We always liked to have the what's kind of writing and recording process to be like its own little bubble where you go into a, like a phase where you go through that period of creativity and then you go out on the other side and have the touring part which is more just going like how to acquaintance yourself with the, with the material it's a totally different thing so we like to separate those and that makes it take a long time because you know if you look at Obzam we toured for two and a half years which meant, like, after 2008, it was two and a half years without writing anything. So the album process itself is not that long. It's just, you know, coming on the tail end of all the touring, and it's going to be the same way now. So it takes us four years. Somehow the early early stages or the early recordings or records were, were as I think, for a lot of bands, so we'll try, you know, way to find your own legs you know where, where what's our identity what 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 is us what separates us from from what out you know what else is out there and then try to focus on that so i think that you know going from the early thrash roots which were pretty obvious and, you know apparent on the first couple of albums we slowly turned this beast into something different that is more us and i think that's something that happens for every album that i really enjoy about playing in this band is that we, we we still have the feeling that every record is, an, is a fun experiment and for every when we release it's like we come more into our own because we grow to understand more about ourselves. All the lyrics on this album hints toward, you know, it, 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 it deals with the belief in, in black and white, the belief in, in that, that you can actually be 100% sure about anything at a given point in your life. And as a human being, to be arrogant enough not to realize that it's all grayscale, you know. That's something that we have a problem with. Our, our, our society is dualistic. And it's about the anxiety that, you know, that misunderstanding creates, whether it's in politics or in a family or if it's in religion or in any social structure. Uh, it's about, you know, the anxiety we create as human beings because we intend to impose our own, you know, realities on other people rather than, you know, seeing it from other people's perspective in order to understand each other better. You know. That's the general, you know, something that goes through everything lyrically on the album that there's no specific themes or like you know even though you know a certain song might be be about a subject it's very loose and it's very you know it's, it's supposed to be interpreted by the reader for us it's gratifying to hear when bands you know guys come up and say that you've been a huge inspiration to me and you know you've changed the way I, I I think about you know certain things that's that's gratifying that's awesome and I don't care if you know there's a band out there that people you know say oh they ripped you off totally and okay that's fine I mean other bands have been ripped off as well Slayer's been ripped off, ripped off for you know forever <laughs> and they don't seem to be caring much about that so it really really just as a, it's a compliment, I guess. Yeah. When Frederick tried, tried to explain to this guy, Tim Stevenson, that how, how, uh, how he wanted the guitar to sound when you were palm muting a chord, and he, wanted, he said, you, you want to go for the and for some reason, Tim 
translated that into gent, that he was saying like it's supposed to sound gent. So it's like, it's actually the sound of a palm-muted chord, <laughs> which, but, which by some weird way just gave name to it, you know. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a hard time with it, it's all right, it's, it's a subgenre, but I think that people say that this is a gent band, listen, and the spectrum is quite big. Really, I don't really see a relation between a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know.